Hey guys, Richard Cook here again, GameStar Arts. Uh, thanks for all the new subscriptions and views. It's actually really awesome to see that number keep growing a little bit day by day. Uh, today I actually have a, a pretty big question um, that a lot of new developers are probably wondering, aspiring developers are probably wondering. And um, the big question is, what game school to choose? Or what uh, school to choose for getting into the game development field and stuff. Now, I've actually been noticing a lot recently uh, about these ads on Facebook, and uh, I see them a lot through the, the news feed there, and uh, I think it goes somewhere along the lines of, oh, so you want to play video games for a living, or you want to make video games for a living? check this out. This is awesome. You can be a game tester. You can be a game developer. You can be a game designer. And one of the first things that I actually notice about these ads is that they're really, really, really trying to appeal to the young people because they'll use pictures from games like Halo and Assassin's Creed and very, very popular titles. And they pretty much right out in the forefront, try to promise all the people that they're trying to reach that they're going to get to work on games like this. Well, that's not the case at all. Um, so before I go any further into that, I'm going to go over some criteria that you can research and think about when you're looking for a game school. And hopefully this will help you make a wiser decision instead of uh, just kind of being naive and not really paying attention to what you're going to get out of any particular education you choose. So the first one is knowing what's out there. Now if you go ahead and do your research on regional schools and stuff like that and start to think about the locales that these schools are in um, and how relevant they are to the game industry. Now most people think California is a big place to go for this kind of stuff. And that's not really far from the truth. There's a lot of companies actually headquartered out in California. There's a lot of studios popping up out there in, in uh, Irving and in, in San Francisco and L.A. and everything. A lot of studios popping up all the time out there. So you can definitely go out there and look for schools because you're going to be right in the heat of it. You're going to be able to um, utilize the surrounding studios for any information or anything like that if you need to go to them for research or if you needed to look for internships or anything like that. It always helps be right in the middle of where the industry is. Now see, I'm personally, I'm from Wichita, Kansas originally, so there's nothing out there game-related honestly and there there's it's probably one of the worst places you can think of to get into the game industry to go out to school out there or anything like that to try to get into the game industry there's no industry the industry is not games there it's it's something completely different so when you think about it you have to get yourself in that situation to where you're going to be able to reach out to a lot of local employers about your furthering education after you leave school during you leave during your school and after you leave school so that's a really helpful thing to keep in mind when you're looking for schools uh, I also went to uh, full sale personally out here in Orlando and Orlando it's it's a growing it's a growing economy and there's a lot of multimedia companies popping up here and down south in Miami. But um, the thing we have going for us with Full Sail is that it's probably, I think it's like the second highest rated technical school in the country. And um, But a lot of people actually, the first thing they notice about the school is the price tag. And it is very, very, very pricey. Um, so you're definitely going to need money to do something like that. I personally felt like it was worth it because I've seen the inside of the school and I've been in the labs and all that, so I know the technology they use. So I could definitely attest for them putting that money back into the school. 
But do I think it's overpriced? Yes, I do think it's really overpriced, and I still think that they could do a little better in getting um, students there without having to really put them in debt for 30 years. <laughs> so I, I would definitely say if you're going to consider anything like that, you should definitely look into the curriculum available too. So um, the second thing too is knowing how to spot a scam school. Now going back to those Facebook ads, it's not just the Facebook ads that really try to scam you out of the idea that you're going to work on these incredible games and it's going to, you're going to have this incredible job. Now, personally, as in my last video, I discussed about how the game industry really is. And if you understand that, you'll know that it's not really what most people perceive it as being. And, but we love what we do. And we love what we do because it's something that allows us to uh, have creative expression and things like that. A lot of the stuff I already explained in the last video about getting into the game industry. And the simple fact of the matter is that when you're looking for schools and you start to get into a, a conversation with like an admissions rep or something like that from the school, and they'll start to maybe like pitch you on, on being this fabulous game designer. And that's what they're really doing. They're, they, they, they're trying to sell their school to you. And they're trying to sell their curriculum to you. And you, you have to be able to spot the red flags. Now, the red flags can be anything from them playing up a position in the game industry like game tester. Uh, I think that's one of the most widely misunderstood positions in the industry. Some people love it. Some people do it and they love it. But I think what a lot of people perceive it, especially young people, they'll perceive it as playing video games all day and getting paid for it. And it's really not even just that. It's not that at all. Uh, to give you testing in a nutshell, I would say it, it's more along the lines of playing the same section of the same level a hundred times within a day and finding a bug or two or three or five. <laughs> So, and then writing them in reports and giving these reports and, and, and handing them in, going over them with your supervisors and stuff like that. There's not a lot of entertainment value in being a tester. Like, it's very well perceived to be through things like those Facebook posts and stuff. They try to glorify it like it's some, like something you're going to get paid for doing what you're already doing, which is playing games, which is probably why you're interested in that ad in the first place. So keep your eye out for those kinds of red flags and do your research before you get into any serious conversations with any schools about uh, admissions and, and getting into the program and stuff like that. Um, also, the, one of the other things is go ahead and talk to other students from the school. A lot of these schools have live forums and stuff that you can have access to publicly. And... Also, if you have any friends or anything like that, friends of friends, relatives, anybody who's ever gone to any relevant type of school, ask them. Ask them questions endlessly until you figure out exactly what you need to figure out. Because they're not gonna they're not gonna pitch the school to you. They're not gonna they're not gonna be the sales force for the school. They're going to give you the straight and narrow and uh, let you know exactly what you need to know without any bias or anything like that. So that's probably one of the best sources you can go to for information if you happen to know anybody who went to anything relevant. So, and the last thing is probably one of the more important questions that people think about when they're going to consider a school. And the question is, do you really need it? And by that, do I mean, I mean, do you really need the school to get to where you need to go. Uh, there are a lot of ways. There's tons of ways to get where you need to go. There's, there's never a right way when you're uh, experiencing uh, new things and trying to learn about the uh, industry through different various sources. Uh, I, personally, I personally left Full Sail with uh, 
knowing only about 10% of what I know. And there's a story behind that, but it, it doesn't more this conversation here. But uh, I left there knowing about 10% of what I know. And the other 90%, I, I taught myself. I, I dug out various sources of information over the years and lots of trial and error. But I figured it all out on my own, pretty much. And uh, I taught myself a lot. And that's how I got to where I am today. I taught myself how to spot uh, things like the red flags in, in the industry and knowing which sources to go to, which ones were going to be the most valuable. Uh, all this through various blog reading, YouTube tutorials, which, yes, I did do, do YouTube tutorials whenever I first started out, just like maybe you guys are doing watching my ZBrush tutorials. And, you know, you all got to start somewhere. But... Once you get past that point, you're building on a foundation that you created, and uh, in a lot of ways, that's that's uh, gratifying. So, just uh, consider before pouring thirty some thousand dollars into a school that's going to teach you something you might be able to find somewhere else just as easily. Um, now, I'm not going to lie; teaching yourself on your own is a pretty arduous process and the reason I say that is because when you go to school that's the whole point of going to school is you're going to learn a curriculum and the curriculum is going to give you everything you need in order step by step so that you learn everything according to how it's supposed to be learned now typically whenever you are teaching yourself you're not really learning in order you're kind of confused about what you need to learn first, uh, what you need to supplement your learning with, and things like that. So you'll often learn things out of order, and it's just, uh, it, it, it can be a little bit of a, a te tedious process if you uh, don't try to, if you try to go into it too fast. So if you're going to teach yourself, I would definitely start by researching the topics that you should learn first in how to learn them in order. And again, you can go through various places like forums and um, the school forums. You can go through even the ZBrush forums. Um, I'm a member of GameArtisans.org. That's a game development forum. We have beginners come in there all the time asking what to do, where to go, and uh, we're pretty helpful about it. So you can definitely check places out like that and they will be a good place to start if you intend to learn on your own because school can be an, a very expensive thing and uh, it's it's a little troubling to get into something like that if you just simply don't have the resources to do it but there's always ways so that's that, that's what my point was with that is there's always ways and uh, if you're ambitious enough there's always ways to get to where you need to go and and uh, do it in the most resourceful way possible. So uh, with that, I hope you uh, learn a little bit about how to choose a proper school or not, how to choose a proper school. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys will keep on coming back again and checking out my videos, and hopefully you'll be learning a lot more from it. Uh, also, go ahead and please check out my company, Adaptive Elite, on the website links on the right there. and. Um, I had to point it to the left and make that way. And uh, check those out. That'd be great. And keep an eye out for our games. We're going to be uh, showcasing at PAX here pretty soon in March. That's going to be really awesome. So hopefully if any of you Boston guys are out in the area, you'll come check us out. And uh, all the same, keep on uh, telling people about my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Keep viewing the videos. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep on learning everything I'll keep posting. So. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.